After months of urging from Governor Henry McMaster, a bill to reform South Carolina's bond law is now headed to his desk. Lawmakers agreed on a compromise today, negotiating differences between what the House of Representatives and what the Senate passed earlier this year. Our State House reporter Mary Green has those details. This bill has been a major priority for leaders here at the State House this year and for law enforcement. It's all about keeping the public safe. And that's what we want to do. Under the bill, people who commit a violent crime like murder or armed robbery or a felony involving a gun while out on bond for another felony gun or violent offense would automatically have that initial bond revoked. Then a new bond hearing would have to be held in circuit court and it would be harder for them to bond out if they keep reoffending. Lawmakers struck a compromise to add up to an additional five years in prison for people convicted of committing a violent crime crime while out on bond for a different violent crime. That would be considered a separate indictment, so the person would get a new trial and a new jury. We um, still adhere to what we um, believe is the, um, the, the law of the land in the greatest country in the history of the world, that when we have a person that they're presumed innocent. But we do have a problem when we have someone that is out on bond and they commit another crime and so we're attempting to address um, some of those issues. But some lawmakers argued this would be unfair and potentially unconstitutional to add on that time for someone who was not found guilty of that initial charge because without it they wouldn't have been out on bond in the first place. This bill does not punish a single person for saying that you did something wrong that you didn't do. This bill does not punish a single judge because they did not bond for somebody that should be on the street. The bill also includes new electronic monitoring requirements and a guarantee that people whose bond is revoked under this bill could get a trial within six months, giving judges some discretion to delay that. Lawmakers say they had been negotiating this compromise for weeks and earned the approval in both chambers here at the State House on Wednesday to send it to the governor. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Most of this bill would go into effect immediately upon the governor's signature, but some parts would have a delayed implementation to give groups like SLED and bail bondsmen time to create and put into place new policies.